got a big update for you. We're so close to submitting our planning application to reunify the two halves of the Great Central Railway, so it's time to share with you what we're proposing. In this film, we'll tackle the design changes, why we're no longer using the bridge decks from Reading, and what comes after the planning application has been submitted. To kick off, let's hear from our design team experts at Cass Hayward. Railway bridges is something that we've been involved with the whole history of the firm, uh, for Mainline and for various heritage railways uh, around the country. We got involved about four years ago and inherited what was generally an embankment scheme with some local structures over obstructions like Lowy Terrace and Seven Trent's uh, combined sewer outfall. The issue here next to the brook and in that area in particular is the ground conditions aren't conducive to supporting an embankment without doing some significant groundworks and that adds quite a lot of cost to, to the embankment. The original alignment of the uh, railway was slightly to the west. So the new alignment, because of the new use of the site next to the old route, means that the embankment's moved across about eight metres. It puts it closer to the brook. Not only that, the structure over the Midland main line is higher to allow for electrification. So that raises the whole alignment of the new track and thus the embankments are, are bigger as a consequence. In fact, it isn't just the height of the new Midlands main line bridge that raises the alignment. Lorries going to and fro along railway terrace need greater clearance than an electrified railway. If we went with a new embankment, it would be very tall, have very steep sides to reach the right height, and it would need a substantial amount of earthworks. Instead, we've come up with what we hope will be a simpler and cheaper design. From the canal, there will be two tracks coming from the south, uh, and that will come on to embankment initially, and the two tracks then with a switch will become a single track to go north. And that's for about 100 metres of embankment. Uh, the first obstruction that we have is Seven Trent's apparatus. They have a combined sewer outfall, which goes from main sewers for Loughborough, which then drain into the, the brook. So we have to, to bridge that with a, a bridge which maintains clearance and access for Seven Trent for maintenance uh, with a minimum headroom for their access vehicles. And then we have a 200 metre length of, of viaduct, 20 metre spans, 10 of them to make the 200 metres all equal span, but it's fully continuous so that the, the track through there doesn't have to have lots of joints within it. It will be continuous welded rail through there, none of the traditional heritage railway clickety-click. The advantage there is that there will be less noise and vibration, uh, which may have been harmful to neighbours. So after that initial 200 metre length of concrete viaduct, there'll be a, another short metal span over railway terrace, which then is a shallower construction depth to maintain the headroom and then we'll be spanning again back to concrete over the a car park before reaching the Midland Main Line bridge. It's a chain of elements. So we have embankments, we have a, sh a short span uh, metal bridge, we have 20 metres times 10 for a concrete viaduct, another short span metal bridge, and then two concrete spans across the Midland Main Line bridge, and then continue for the rest of the way on embankment to join with the structure over the A60. The link from the Midland Main Line will curve in to join the new reunification line and they'll run together as two separate parallel single lines for about half a mile before they join. And here's the first artist's impression of the new urban viaduct we're proposing to build. It shows a standard class five heading northwards with its train past the Pressy Spark factory. One clear advantage is that it won't look as big. So I think visually that would be better. We're not building right up against the neighbor, Pressy Spark. So there's clearance between the structure now and our neighbors. We're not building so much structure or embankment on the Hermitage Brook and the floodplain itself. So we're leaving a lot of land unused, which is good for habitation and, and the like. Here's another important design change. If you've been following the project for a long time, you'll know we recovered two bridge decks, kindly donated by Network Rail, when they remodelled Reading Station. Originally, we thought we'd use them across the Midland Main Line, but when that design changed, the two decks were surplus to requirements. 
And while we've tried to fit them into the scheme elsewhere, they're now going to be disposed of. But we should never forget the vital role they played in getting the whole reunification project moving in the first place. They were not quite the right span and they were skewed, but skewed in the wrong direction. So whilst they had potential for reuse, it wasn't going to be a simple just pick them up and put them down. They would have needed quite a bit of refurbishment as well. Soon, the Reunification Project Board will submit the designs and all the reports which have been prepared over the last few weeks to Charmond Borough Council. While we wait for a decision, we're looking ahead too. You've helped us raise around £2 million. That money has been used to unlock the planning process. But we also need to turn the design drawings into engineering and construction blueprints. That is expected to cost around half a million pounds, which will further reduce our building fund. So that's our new appeal. If together we can raise half a million pounds, we'll protect as much of our building fund as possible, ready to make a start as soon as we can. The pace of the reunification project is picking up, so please help us push forward. You can make a donation online at gcrailway.co.uk slash unify or text the word unify to 70970 to give £5. If everyone who watches this film did that, we would leap ahead. Thank you for being part of the reunification team and we'll be back again soon with another bulletin.